Hi, hey, so if you recall the last time I did my YouTube channel, uh, I did the install of the RPM uh, two and a half ton steering components. Well, um, I was really bugged that I couldn't get, you know, uh, 150 to 200 pounds of torque because, you know, if I'm using open end wrenches, I'm not gonna know that, right? I'm just gonna be doing it as hard as I can. And uh, so previously I used an 18 inch and I used a 15 inch to, to be able to tighten them. But I called up uh, RPM and they said, hey, have you talked to Motobuilt or have you looked at Motobuilt? They have uh, not necessarily crow's feet, but they have something that you can use. So uh, give me one second here and I'm gonna open up this Motobuilt box. All right, so uh, <laughs> it took me a little bit of time to open up this, this box from Motobuilt. Um, I thought it was just gonna be slicing the ends and slicing the metal, but they actually use some pretty heavy duty industrialized staplers uh, to box it up, so pretty cool. Motobuilt, of course, made in the USA. So, um, a lot of people say crow's feet, and I thought crow's feet would work pretty well, but I went and priced out crow's feet. Uh, went to Granger, and uh, that was pretty cool. Little sign there saying thank you. Um, and I went to Granger and priced them out, and I went to Harbor Freight and priced them out. And typically the average price range was like 60 bu 30 to 60 bucks for a single crow's foot. Uh, crow's foot is, for those that don't know, it's an like an open end type of uh, wrench, something almost like that, except it just has this top piece. And the bottom piece is open for uh, fitting for a socket. All right, so uh, like I was mentioning, the crow's feet, they're, they're made so that they can, you know, uh, connect to an impact wrench or what have you. Uh, but Motobuilt has a trail kit for almost the same exact thing, right? Uh, has up from 9 sixteenths all the way down to 13 sixteenths. Uh, this is, they have two kits that are on their website. This is the bigger kit, which is uh, number two. But uh, what I like about it is, it, as you can tell, this is, this is pretty thick material. And I think it was Doug from RPM said that, hey, get the, get the number two and it'll have it because I think it's uh, 1 16th uh, or 1 and 7 16th that's needed. So I'm gonna check that real quick. I had ordered a crow's foot from Granger at two inches and it was way too big. So let me see, that is not gonna fit. That's not gonna fit. So let's try, maybe it's maybe it's that one. Maybe it's 13 sixteenths. So that's almost a perfect fit, one and 15 sixteenths. So uh, that's, that's pretty nice. Um, I thought I had ordered the half inch and I have a funny film, they sent me the three eighths, but we'll see here in a second. All right, so I was wrong. They did send me the half inch, which is exactly what I wanted for my torque wrench. So now I'm gonna be able to actually torque those jam nuts. Uh, and this, this set is I think called a jam nut tool set. And uh, they basically said it's made for the trails. But what I like about it is it's pretty darn thick. I, I'm pretty sure I can get 150 to 200 pounds without breaking this thing. Uh, a lot of the things that I saw on Amazon for crow's feet, um, since it ends typically like right there and it just has this upper half um it was breaking when you when you torch it down because it didn't have this width of the shaft the crow's foot would normally stop right here it would come into an angle and there'd only be so much on each side what i like about this trail kit for for um for the set is that it's thick it will be pretty hard to break this uh in my opinion, but I'll try it and find out. All right, so it'll uh, simply slide in here, and then I'm still using my, my crescent wrench to keep the actual body. Um, the last time I torqued these down, I used a cheater bar, and 
I, I'm trying to trying to move it and it's not moving. So I'm thinking that I've exceeded 150 pounds. Uh, and that's, that's uh, the maximum that my particular torque wrench goes. So I think I'm pretty solid, um, but these I think are, are gonna be perfect for the trail. So um, really light, compact, and I think it's gonna be really, really well. Thanks. So one last thing that I forgot to mention is the price on these. This I got during, uh, I think it was Labor Day sale. So I spent, I think 60 something dollars for the entire set. And it does not come with this. I just uh, have this from a, from things that I keep with my, with my Jeep for the trail, but it works really well to keep them all together. But this set was, like I said, 65 bucks. It was on sale. Um, for just one crow's foot for that I that I looked at from Granger, it was seventy-two dollars just for one. And this is a complete set. And if you figure, okay, you have two per uh you know, one on each side and it's two per per set or two per piece. Well you're getting one, two, three, four, five, so ten crow's feet for 65 bucks or whatever. And if you bought those individually from Granger, you'd be looking probably close to a thousand bucks, right? Since they're about 70 bucks a piece, you're in plus tax and all that other stuff, you'd be paying close to a grand. Uh, Motorbuilt, less than a hundred bucks.